Before we say anything, we're going to have a prayer. When we first came to Minneapolis and went to the site, when Ben Crump called, we remembered how Eric Garner said, I can't breathe 11 times. His mother came with us to the site. The family came in, and this family has stood together for the last 11 months watching this video go over and over and over again. This family stood with pain, suffering, and not knowing what the future held because so many families went and got nothing. They thanked God when they got the indictment, which would not have happened had not the Attorney General Keith Ellison took this case. Yeah. 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 And Keith Ellison fought and put together a team that made this possible. And this is the first time in the history of this state that a white police officer has been convicted, wow. less known convicted, of a murder. This is the first time in a long ray of fights mm -hmm. that we've seen three counts guilty at all three. Mm -hmm. We don't find pleasure in this. No. We don't celebrate a man going to jail. Mm -hmm. We would have rather George be alive. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But we celebrate that we, because young people, white and black, some castigated, many that are here tonight, marched and kept marching, mm -hmm. and kept going. Yes. Many of them looked down on, but they kept marching right. and wouldn't let this die. Yes. And this is an assurance to them that if we don't give up, that we can win some rounds. But the war and the fight is not over. Not over. Just two days from now, we're going to have to deal with the funeral of Dante Wright mm -hmm. in this same county, the same area. We still have cases to fight, but this gives us the energy to fight on. And we are determined that we're going to fight until we make federal law yes. the George Floyd yes. Justice in Policing Act yes. must be law. We want to thank all that were involved, especially the Attorney General and the yes. Governor and others. We want to thank President Biden who the first time he came out of his house during the campaign, he flew to Houston and met with the family and Attorney Crump and I. And he sat there, and I will never forget, he, he said to George's daughter that I heard you say your father is going to change the world. Well, we can now tell George's daughter she was right. Her father has began the changing of the world for real. But before we do anything, we first want to pray and thank yes, God, because yes, yes. somehow God made a way. He had mercy. We believe in a God that can even get through the cracks in a jury room and bring conscience and bring truth. And that jury, we want to thank them for letting God give them the strength wherever they are tonight. We want them to know we broke down in tears when we heard the verdict. Yeah. We had to hold each other and hug in tears because too many nights we've cried. Many of us for decades yeah. spent nights in jail. But today we can wipe our tears away and fight on for another day. There's sunlight. We're going to keep going till we bring it for the Eric Gardners and the Breonna Taylors, whose boyfriend is here tonight. Kenny Walker. Kenny Walker. Yeah. Sean Bell, so many that did not get this night, this night is for them. Let us pray. Let's lock arms and pray like we can, folks. That's right. <laughs> Where, come on, Brandon. Where's Felonis? Right here. Thank you. Come on. Yeah, come on. You and Rodney, come up front. Ain't no use hiding now. <laughs> Brother Chris, I, get, the, get next to the Attorney General there. Let's pray. 
<laughs> Dear God, we thank you for giving us the strength to stand together. Sometimes we would question each other. Sometimes we say this is just going to be a waste of time. But somehow you touch us in the midnight hours and teach us to hold on. And that if we would be faithful over a few things, you'd give us the victory over many. We thank you because we know it was not any doing of ours, but your love and kindness and your tender mercy that made tonight possible. Bless those that worked that made this prosecution something they couldn't deny. Bless those policemen that got on the stand and testified against another policeman. Bless the jury that listened to the evidence and didn't listen to those that may criticize them for doing this. Bless the prosecutor, Keith Ellison, yes, and his staff yes, that did their job, even though they didn't know what the outcome would be. Bless Ben Crump in a special way yes, that worked tirelessly, that yes, jumped on planes and left his family to make sure that justice would rain down. Yes, thank you for all of the civil and human rights leaders that stood up. And we thank you for the nameless grandmas and grandpas yes, that we get on their knees and ask you to give us a victory this time. And Lord, as we give you the thanks and give you the praise, let George know that his name is going down in history. They may have put their knee on his neck, but he will now be a figure that we will take the knees off our necks now, and we give you the praise. Thank you, and God, we give you the glory. These blessings we ask in your name. Amen. 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 Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.